Where do artists get their ideas from? Why paint shapes? Why is some art so weird? Maybe you've asked some of these questions when you visited an art gallery. If so, that's good. Questions can help you understand what an artist is trying to say or why a work makes you feel a particular way. Do you have to be clever to look at art? Some people think that you have to be clever to understand art. But most of the time, you just have to know what to look for. If art was made a long time ago, it might contain things that we don't recognise now. Sometimes we just need to look carefully and try to work out what the artist might have meant. That's just weird! Art can be weird. It can be wacky, confusing and even scary. That's because many artists explore and express their ideas in unusual ways. Things can happen in art that wouldn't be possible in real life. Why paint shapes? What's this painting about? Well, it's up to you. In this painting, Kazimir Malevich didn't include people, stories or objects on purpose. Instead, he painted simple shapes, patterns and colours. Do you think these shapes are floating or falling? A little kid could do that. Do you ever think a work of art looks as though you could have done it yourself? Some art seems so simple that you might wish you thought of it first. But often artists' ideas are more complicated than they look. With the invention of photography, many artists didn't see the point of realistic art anymore. Art became more about ideas than about being lifelike. Is a canvas splashed with paint really as good as a realistic painting from centuries ago? Art can be baffling sometimes, especially if it isn't lifelike. Modern artists use unusual materials, colours, shapes and forms. Artists want to experiment and test people's reactions. Is it good or bad? Well, that's up to you!